Good morning. Is this on? Good morning. Anyways, um, I kind of have a mixed um, news today. Um, I have some bad news. Um, I was just uh, looking at my device um, within the last probably several hours, I guess, and, or last evening. And um, there was a report that came out of Washington that said this. Wonderful news, guys. That the, they are expecting they will take a vaccine that is 50% effective. Isn't that great news? How many would you take the vaccine? Amen. All right. Okay, so let's just put that comparison. The measles vaccine has an effectiveness rate of about 93%. That's good news, all right? So um, the, currently the manufacturers are expecting to have a vaccine that produces 60 to 75% effectiveness, but they'll also take a 50% effective vaccine. Amen. All right. So that's the good news, right? No, it's not. Actually, bad news. Um, so what can you do to really protect your health? And um, this is what it really boils down to. And um, there was an article that was actually just published in the New England, or through the British um, Medical Journal. And um, edit there was an editorial um, that was just, like I said, just posted. And it reads this. And this is coming from a synopsis as provided by Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, or PCRM.org. And um, it reads this. It says, Diet is the root of conditions linked to severe COVID-19 outcomes and holds the potential for improving those outcomes as well. So you get that? So diet holds the key potentially to bad outcomes, but the good news is it also holds the key to good outcomes, all right? According to a new editorial um, by the editor-in-chief, of the British Medical Journal, Journal. It says obesity is linked to such diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer, and is now considered a key risk factor for COVID-19. All right? To reduce the rates of obesity, the author suggests consuming more fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, and less red meat and processed foods to help curtail the effects of the virus and its second wave. I, we haven't gotten to the first one, guys. Um, Specifically, she highlights the meat industry as the driver for acute and chronic disease. All right, so the bad news is, is that we, the vaccine is going to be questionable. The good news is you can still do something about it, and it, but it does require a change in the way a lot of us eat, unfortunately. And once again, if you do in, in take, take in a lot of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, um, beans, nuts, legumes, and you get rid of the processed foods, and you get rid of the meats, what you're doing is you're basically trading, um, and you're bringing into your body anti-inflammatory foods. That's your fruits, the vegetables. And you're getting rid of the pro-inflammatory um, foods, such as the processed foods and the meats. And so um, if, you, if you are worried and concerned about um, what's going on around us, um, not only do we have a Heavenly Father that looks out for us, but he's also given us the recipe for better health and for potentially avoiding severe outcomes with um, the pandemic that's going on around us. And as we all know, you know, even if someone succumbs to the effects of the virus, you know, as long as they're in Jesus, we're safe, right? Amen. So, but let's just, what we, let's do what we can um, health-wise, and God has given us that wisdom, and let's act upon it. Amen.